What is going on guys, it's Amit, you're watching Dev Dreamer, and welcome to lesson 28 in JavaScript. In this lesson, we're going to be learning all about the 4 of loop. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to like and subscribe down below and choose all notifications by clicking the bell so you never miss an update. Okay, so welcome back to lesson 28, which will be the final lesson on loops. In the previous lesson, we learned all about the 4 in loop, in this lesson, let's understand the for of loop. So first of all then, we'll understand how to write it and how it works, and then we'll look at the difference between the for of loop and the for in loop. So the for of loop is a fairly new loop that we got with the ES6 update. We use the for of loop to loop over iterable data structures. By iterable here, we mean data that can be looped over. We can use it to loop over things such as arrays, strings, maps, which we'll look at a bit later on, and much more. Let's first create an array and then we'll use the for of loop to loop through its values. So here then let's say let characters be assigned the value of our array. Okay, so we've got our array with all our values in. Let's now use the for of loop to loop over these values. So the way that this works then is very similar to the for in loop, but instead of the keyword in, we're using the keyword of. So we're going to say for space, parentheses, and we have a curly braces, and then inside the parentheses here, we need a variable of the iterable. So let's understand what this means. So first of all, the variable is something that we create. So just like the for in loop, we created a variable that would be used to loop over the object properties. Well, here it's going to be the same thing, but here it's going to be substituting these values. Then we have the keyword of because we're using a for of loop. And then finally, iterable is basically the iterable data structure. So here then it's going to be our array of characters. So let's go ahead and copy this and let's paste this in here. And for a variable, let's just say let x. We can even just say x. And now in between the curly braces, this is going to be the code to be executed. So here we're just going to say console.log x. So let's go ahead and save and let's see what we get in the console. Okay, perfect. So our for of loop then has looped through these array values. We get Sonic, Tails, Mario, Luigi, and Link. Now, the for of loop can also be used to iterate over a string, more specifically the characters inside a string. So let's see how this works. So let's get rid of all this. In fact, let's just comment it out for now, it's fine. And then down here, I'm going to say let course be assigned the value of a string, and that string is going to be JavaScript. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use a for of loop to loop through these characters in the word JavaScript. So we're going to say for, we have a parentheses, curly braces. So first then we need a variable, so I'm going to say letter, then we have the keyword of, and finally we need to specify the iterable data structure. So here it's going to be the variable course. In our call to be run, we're just going to say console.log, and then the name of our variable, which is letter. So what this is going to do then, is it's going to loop through each of these characters one by one. So let's go ahead and save, and check this out guys. In the console then, we've looped through this string letter by letter. Now, we can also use the break keyword to break out of the loop once we've reached a certain value. So, for this example then, let's uh, let's get rid of this. And let's uncomment this, because we're going to be using the same array here. But this time, we want to break out of the loop once we reach Luigi. So inside here then, we're going to say, if x is equal to Luigi, then break. And once again, what this will do is it will break out of the for of loop. So in other words here, all we want to print out are the first three values, Sonic, Tails and Mario. So once x has a value of Luigi, then break out of the loop. Then we're going to say else, just run this as normal, so console.log x. So let's go ahead and save. Perfect, so in the console then we get Sonic, Tails and Mario. So this is a great example of how to pull the different things we've learned together. So here of course, not only are we using a for of loop, but we're using an if else statement as well. So that's all about how to use the for of loop. Let's now understand the difference between for of and for in. Both the for of and for in loops are looping constructs. In other words, they're both used to iterate over data. The difference between them is the data that they iterate over. So we should use for in when we want to loop over properties of an object, and we should use for of when we want to loop over values of an iterable data structure, for example, an array or a string. So guys, with that, we've learned all about the different loops and conditional statements, which if you recall, together make up what we call control flow. Let's go ahead and summarize this lesson. So the for of loop is a fairly new loop that we got with the ES6 update. It can be used to iterate over iterable data structures, such as arrays and strings. The break keyword can be used to break out of the loop given a certain condition. And finally, the difference between for in and for of is the data that they can iterate over. 
So let's take a look at your tasks for this lesson. For task number one, create a list of colors, red, orange, yellow, green, and blue, and then iterate over them by using the for of loop and then log your results to the console. And then for task number two, use a break to only show red, orange, and yellow. So I'll break out of the loop once we get to green. So as always, go ahead and pause the video, try these out, and when we come back, we'll take a look at the answers. So how'd you go on then? Let's see. So for task one then, we need to create an array of colors. So we're going to say let colors be assigned the value of, and then let's just copy these in. And then we need to use the for of loop to loop over them. So we're going to say for parentheses, curly braces, and then remember inside here, we first need a variable. So I'm going to call this color, then the keyword of, and then our data structure. So here it's going to be this array of colors. Let's go ahead and copy this. And now for the call to be run, we simply want to console.log our color variable. Okay, perfect. We get all the colors in the console. For task two then, we need to break out of this loop once we get to green. So over here then we're going to say if color, so if our variable color is equal to the value of green, then break out. Else, go ahead with the console log. Okay, so let's save this. And once again, that works. We get the colors red, orange, and yellow in the console. So guys, well done on completing those tasks. That's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to be learning all about object data types, and we'll start by looking at arrays. So be sure to tune in. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you on the next one.